everyone, it's Callie this week again with the DIYs and today's topic is going to be picnic recipes and these are going to be so delicious because this time we're doing food and usually we do like powders and deodorants and things like that but today we are doing food so I'm so excited and we get to eat it, it's going to be great. So we are first going to start off with our popsicles. And these are going to have, let us get to the page, with the recipe. Okay, so here's the Essential Life book, which is where the recipes come from. And today we are giving it away. So if you can just comment down below, you can ask a question, interact with the video somehow, tell us how much you love it, and we will give it away. It's so exciting. And then for the next 24 hours, we are giving, we are discounting this cute little bag. You can see right here that it holds six oils so you can carry it on the go. Perfect for picnics or if you're going to the park with your kids. It's great. So this is originally like $14 and we're giving it, we're selling it for the next 24 hours for $9.99, $9.95. So it's going to be awesome. You should totally check that out. $9.95. It's great. I love it. All right, so we are doing our popsicles, which is on page 391 in our Essential Life book. The back of the book has so many pages, probably like 70 just dedicated to DIYs. So it's obviously my favorite section of the book. Hopefully it's yours too. So with our popsicles, we're going to need either a popsicle tray or, or an ice cube tray or a popsicle tray. I have both just to show you. And then with the ice cube tray with the cute little mini popsicles, we're also going to need toothpicks so that we can use them as the little holders. So what we're going to need is one can of frozen juice concentrate, which is right here. I'm just going to open it up really quickly and then put it in the blender. All right, if the, there we go. I'm just going to get that in here, cut it around the sides. Hopefully it'll come out. There we go. It's a little bit frozen. I should have taken it out before we started this, but I didn't want it to melt too much. So the popsicles can freeze a little bit faster. So when you are doing this, just remember to keep this out a little bit longer than you think so that it actually has time to come out of the container. Come on. All right. There we go. Yummy. Okay. And then we're going to fill this up halfway with water. And just pour that in there. And then we have one banana. Some people like it a little bit more fresh. Some people like it a little bit more green, whatever you prefer. And then we have our Greek yogurt, which is still in the fridge. And then we need two ounces of that. Oh, that's disgusting. Forgot that yogurt has some spillage. So we're going to do about this much. All right, so that's about two or three ounces. And then one teaspoon of vanilla, which is about a capful. And then the good part which is the wild orange essential oil. And let me promise you, one drop is enough. I already tested these out and that just comes through. So we're just going to blend this all together. time 
for the pouring. Just get that out of the way. So you can see here that it fills up a ton. So you could just have like mini popsicles if you just want a quick little snack for your kids. And then here's the full popsicle. So you see how an entire ice cube tray like is completely filled up. And then these just pour in there. And this will fill up about four of these if you do the ice cube tray as well. And then you just pop these in the freezer. So let me do that really quick. And we have some already frozen to show you. So yummy. All right. So here's the one with the ice cube tray. They're a little bit hard to get out once they're frozen in. So you just want to get like a knife and just cut around the sides and it'll just pop right out. And you see it's not super cute, but it does the job. And then here are the cute popsicles. Look at that. How adorable. And they are so healthy. I mean, it's just orange juice concentrate and water and Greek yogurt. So it's not like it's going to be 100% added sugar, because as you saw, we didn't add any. So it's just what's already inside of the ingredients. All right, I'm just gonna put these back in the fridge so they don't melt all over the place. And then we are going to start with our smoothie. Actually, we're going to do the pesto first because I want the smoothie last so I can have it and drink it after the show. All right, and just remember if you do have any questions, just put them down below and I will be able to answer them on the spot. It's pretty exciting when it's live. All right, so just rinse that out to make sure you don't have any popsicle left in there so that we can get on to the pesto. So that is going to be on page 385 in the Essential Life book, which again, we're giving away. So comment below, tell us how much you love it, and we will get it to you. All right, so we're going to do three cups of basil leaves, and don't pack them too tight because you don't want too much basil or it's gonna be too dry. And then two to three cloves of garlic. Some about two thirds of a cup of pine nuts. Yeah. The recipes will be posted. Oh, they're not. They are in the Essential Life book though. So just remember, you probably have one or maybe your upline will give you one. You could just ask, beg them please. And don't, re don't forget that we sell them for $25.72 online just for one. And then if you wanna get a whole bunch of your friends together to buy some, then it's 10 for $15.86 per book. So that's a great deal. That's almost as much as we get them for. So just remember that the books are great and it doesn't just have recipes in here. So it, also, it tells literally anything you need to know about oils is in this book. So get it for you and your team and it's amazing. All right, and then we're going to do about two thirds of a cup of olive oil and then we're going to blend this together. And then, after we get this pretty blended up so we have some room, we're going to put in one half cup of Parmesan. And you can either grate it yourself or buy it pre-grated. All right. And then we're going to put some essential oils in there. So we're going to do 
one toothpick of black pepper. Just gonna keep this in here. And then you just swirl it around. One toothpick gives it enough pepper for days. It's one of the stronger oils, so just do not, do not put too much in there or you will be coughing. And then we're going to do one toothpick dip of basil. And you dip it in there. And basil is not 100% important because we do put fresh basil in here, but it does give it that kick. So it's pretty great. And then one toothpick dip of lemon, which gives it that yummy little citrusy taste. All right. And then we're going to mix that in there. delicious so pesto you can just put it on just about anything but it's great for picnics and it's very lovely so here's this and if you do want it like smoother or thicker then you can do that and it does say to add more olive oil if you do want it to be a thinner consistency all right so there's our yummy pesto with the essential oils in it now we're just going to rinse this out one more time. And this one's a little bit harder to clean out because it does have so many ingredients in it that aren't liquid. And for anyone joining us just now, today we are doing picnic recipes. So we've already done pesto and we've done popsicles and we're moving on to smoothies in a second. And also, we have these wonderful things that we're promoting today. So the first is the Essential Life Book, which is where I am getting all of our recipes, which is $25.72, and we are giving it away today. So just post in the comments. We are giving away one book to one lucky viewer. So post in the comments as I am talking right now, and you could be that one. And then we also have this promotion going on where this, which is originally about $14, it drops down to $9.95 just for today. And it holds six oils and it's great for on the go. And now I'm going to blend. So bear with me so I can clean this a little bit more. And that just gets all of the gunk off the bottom. And then I'll rinse the top. We don't want any pesto in our smoothie because that would be gross. All right. Let me just sit out one more time. Okay. going to be on page 389 of the Essential Life book. And it's going to be the Tropical Green Smoothie. So we have an entire page just for smoothies. And it has other sections like desserts, main dishes. It's so great. You could have an entire meal full of essential oils or an entire weekly planning with just meals containing essential oils. So that's amazing. So for this one, it's a green smoothie, so we're going to have spinach and almond milk. And I've already sliced up this mango, and it calls for one entire mango pitted. 
So we're going to do two and a half cups, which is actually about the rest of this. So I'm just gonna put that in here. And then we're going to blend this up so it's a little bit smoother for the other ingredients. Maybe it won't blend. I might need to put liquid in there first. Okay, Let's stuff it down there. Okay, so it calls for two thirds of a cup of almond milk, which is about, let's see, about that much. And then let's blend it now. So this is actually Hamilton Beach. It's super nice, but you can use any blender. It's, they're going to be fine with essential oils, especially if it's glass. So just make sure if you do have a plastic blender, I don't know if they're out there, but just make sure that it is BPA free because the oils, some of them like the citrus blends do eat away at the plastic. So we don't want that. So I'm just using Hamilton Beach today. And then I'm going to put this whole mango in there. And then we're going to get about two and a half cups of ice. Right, so here's about one and a half cup. And then two. All right, and I'm just gonna blend this together. Okay, and then we're going to do one toothpick swirl of ginger, and this is optional if you do like that ginger, it gives it a little kick. And then two to three drops of orange essential oil. So let's swirl that in there. All right. And then two to three drops. And this, the orange just comes right through. It's the main focus of this smoothie. All right. Hold on, I might need to shake it up. Sometimes my blender doesn't like to blend. So that's it and I actually didn't bring a cup up here because I forgot but um, we have a great one that fills about as much of this smoothie it's about 18 to 20 ounces and it's called the mason jar and it is so cute it's from the mason bar company and it is it has like it's like about this big and it has a BPA free straw, which is great for the oils. And it has a cute little plastic covering that's also BPA free. And then it has, of course, the mason jar metal lid. So it is so cute and we will post a link in the description. So check that out as well. And they sell for about $15 as well. So you guys check that out and just remember that we have the amazing Essential Life book, which has all of the recipes that I featured today, and that's $25.72 for one. And then for a pack of 10, it's $15.86 per book, and that's great for your team, or if you just want to give them away as gifts for friends. And then we do have this, which is a container to hold six oils for on the go. All of your favorite oils can fit in there if you're going out of town or whatnot it's great for travel and that's usually 
about $14, and today we are selling it for $9.95. So just remember, $9.95, and then comment below for a giveaway of this book. All right, stay tuned for next week at 2 p.m. for the DIYs. Thanks, you guys have a great day.